Welcome to the Urban Survivor channel and in this video we're going to be taking a look at a little urban survival get home bag that lives in this ultralight 1 liter Patagonia black hole mini hip pack. The nice thing about this kit is that it's so small and lightweight that you can keep it close by by carrying it on your waist or you can toss it into a backpack. It would also be a great supplement to a larger get home bag or a bug out bag. This kit would be ideal for a 10 to 15 mile get home walk but it also has a few items that would come in handy for a more extended survival situation if you're really in a bind. Before we dive in, let me know your thoughts on fanny packs in the comments below, and be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like them, or a thumbs down if you don't. I'll also put a list to the contents of this kit in the description, and as we go, if you have any ideas on how to make this kit better, please share them in the comments as well. Alright, so now we're going to dive in and check out the contents of the kit. First, we're going to take a look at the small front pouch, which has items that I'd need quick and easy access to. The first thing in this kit is some hand sanitizer, which comes in handy in case you touch something and you need to sanitize your hands, or it can also be used to help start fires. This is the Schrade SCTPT Titanium Pry Tool. In addition to a pry bar, it also has a seatbelt cutter, a bottle opener, a glass breaker tip, a wrench driver, and it even accepts quarter inch hex bits. There's also a few wet wipes in here for cleaning your hands. These are small and they don't take up much space and they're nice to have around. This WorkPro utility knife is just three inches long and weighs 1.6 ounces. It's got a liner lock, a stainless steel finish, and a handy pocket clip. I've showed this off in other videos, but I'm a big fan of these because they're lightweight, cheap, and you can easily swap out the blades. Another tool I like to keep close by is a Leatherman Micro. It's small enough to keep on your keychain or in your pocket, and it's got a lot of great tools like scissors, a small blade, tweezers, flathead screwdriver, and other small useful items. A high-powered flashlight is another great tool to have in an urban survival situation. One of my favorite is the keychain size Rovivon A3 Pro. This light can produce 500 lumens and it's really lightweight. I keep some lip balm in the front pouch of this kit as well. It's a good thing to use if you're going to be walking in the sun for long distances. Another great little tool to keep close at hand is a 516 Silcox key. A Silcox key will allow you to access water from spigots on the side of many commercial buildings. These are really common in urban environments and can be a great source of water in an emergency situation. I didn't include water or any other methods of water purification because these spigots are really common in urban environments. The last item in the front zippered compartment is an emergency whistle which is useful for signaling and alerting people to your location. Now we're going to dive into the main zippered compartment of the get home kit. I like to keep some snacks on top because it's important to have quick access to those on your get home journey. These are some hemp seed bars with almonds, cashews, and blueberries. These are easy to eat on the go and they provide a nice bit of energy. I've also got two 3 ounce packages of banana applesauce. These taste great, they're easy to eat, and they have a decent amount of water in them. These items have a decent shelf life and it would probably be fine to cycle them out about once a year. Having the ability to keep your phone charged is really important for communication and accessing information during an emergency situation. I like to keep the small Jackery Mini 3350 milliamp hour battery charger close by. I also keep a USB cable in there to charge my phone as well as a flashlight. Fire starting is another important capability and for that I have a little ferro rod and striker combo. I don't expect to need to start fires unless things really go astray from my get home plan, but it's good to have just in case. Next up, there's a small Ziploc bag that I keep some essentials in, including some spare contact lenses. I also keep 100 in cash in there as well. I also keep a few compressed towels in here. All you need to do is add a few drops of water and these turn into moist towels, which come in handy for cleaning your hands or if you need to use the bathroom. There's even a few assorted medical items in this bag, including some ibuprofen, some Benadryl, some heartburn relief, a few bandages, alcohol pads, and sting relief pads. It's not much, but it's good to have a few essentials just in case. There's also some athlete's tape in the kit as well. I also keep an emergency poncho in the kit just in case it rains. It's really important to keep your clothes dry if you have to walk home. Finally, I keep a 1 liter Whirlpack stand-up bag in here. This might come in handy if I find a place to collect water and I need a place to store it for the get home journey. Alright, so this wraps up the contents of the get home kit. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and if you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to the Urban Survivor channel for more videos like this one.